Hello community! Today we have some fun because we have the new Gemini 2.0. Look, we have here the capabilities if we go here to the starter app here in uh, EI Studio by Google. We have spatial understanding here, understand a photo, the video analyzer and a map explorer. And of course we are going for the video analyzer. Okay, we are uploading now here a simple MPV file. Finished downloading, great! This is a YouTube short from my channel. Yes, this is my channel. Great. So if we see here, we have here beautiful, just some yeah visual information transformer like internal symmetries. You can add a symmetry. It should be compatible with the vector space. You can have here, yeah, everything. So if I say now EV captions generate, we are waiting for the model. You see for each scene in the video, generate caption that describe the scene along with any spoken text placed in quotation marks. And we should have the time code. So nice, look at this. The video starts with the text, does you? Yeah, yeah, just for an every second I get here more or less a description, what happens, what appears, what is my audio text? Yeah, the text appears in the diagram showing the model architecture. The text of the HTTP link is shown, yeah. A video plays with the title with a red box around the word vision. Ah, here too. So wait a second. Ah, this is nice. So, so wait a second. So here it starts. Does your visual prompt like this appears with the text in yellow, a blue rectangle with two country flags are shown. Can I see this? Yeah, two country flags are shown. Italian flag, and then we have this, and transformer like internal symmetries, an error in the text, add symmetry information, another error with the text. Okay, add free transformation, dimensions, frequency dimension, improve vision language model. Yes, is also shown. Then the text visual prompt goes from this. It is an absolute accurate description of what happens here in the visual context of my video. This is simple, beautiful. Look at this. This is a real, absolute, correct description. Even the text subscribed to the full video is shown. <laughs> nice. This is nice. So you have it now here. Oh yeah, here I have it here in the timestamps. Exactly. This is real nice. Look, it starts with zero, zero. And then the first second, the fourth second, twelfth second. I have here the complete information with the timestamp. This is nice. Okay, paragraph. Let's have a look at the paragraph. Suppose I have done a short paragraph information generated. Ah, generate a paragraph that summarizes the video. Keep it to three to five sentences. Okay, so let's have a look what's generated. The video explain visual prompts usually consist of an image and a text that is input in the vision language model. Yep. Video claims transformer lack like internal symmetry. Symmetry info is added to make it compatible with the vector space. Yep. Adding a Fourier transformation frequency domain improves the vision language model performance. New studies show this can be done. Yes, I even show you how to do this in my video. Explain that the visual prompt will go from a simple image or text image. Yes. This looks nice. So this paragraph summarization is really working here on a simple, even often a short video. Concludes that the process can be used for fine parameter efficient fine tuning. A new method is called PEFT is introduced. Absolutely correct. What are key, key moments? <laughs> key moments waiting here. Okay, what are the key moments? Now I'm, I mean, I generated this, but I'm now interested. What is a key moment here? Waiting for the model. We are live. This is it. Visual prompts are usually image and text inputs to a vision language model. Yeah, okay. Hey, not at 30 seconds. Come back. I want to see here. Okay, yeah, 20 second visual prompt. 28 seconds. Here we are. 20 second visual prompt will be improved with Fourier transformation frequency. Adding Fourier transformation improves the division language model. Adding symmetry. Yeah, this is all the information there. So the key moments are the main messages. If you want the abstraction, the main contact idea are key moments. Real nice. Google can do this. Adding symmetry information makes the transformer compatible with vector space. Absolutely right. Adding a freight transformation frequency domain improves VLM. Visual prompts will be improved. Path is a method for parameter efficient fine tuning. This is really beautiful. 
What is a table? Suppose now we have just another a JSON or a table or what is now our output generation. Let's have a look together. We are real objects. Now this is nice. So this means I have here for every second, I see that the objects are identified. Flags with text on a blue black background, errors and text on a black background. Academic paper, abstract with text, nice. Look at this, it understands if I put a, here a screenshot of a PDF file. Yeah, there it is. This is my academic paper. Now, this is pink background. Yeah, FFT has a pink background. It's gradient, but okay. Diagram with model architecture with text. Yeah, absolutely, this is it. Can identify some diagram structures. So, I have an object. Italian flag, okay, and the German flag in rectangle forms. Okay, this is true. Look, the German flag, the Italian flag, rectangle forms, beautiful. So next up, I have my arrows, yeah, I have two arrows and a text, arrows and a text, correct. So next one, scroll down a little bit. Academic paper abstract with text. Here is our copy of our archive preprint, correct, rectangle and text, yeah, flags, and pink, yeah, absolutely. Now comes the diagram, the famous diagram, yep. Haiku, okay, I, I don't need a poem, but yeah, okay. Let's do it here, the complete demonstration that you see everything that is available for free by Google with Gemini 2, real impressive. So the Haiku Vision Model learns, adding symmetry, frequency, improves the output. Okay, this is a Haiku, yeah, okay, and expected nothing at all. Excitement. Chart this video by the excitement, the importance and the number of people. Go with excitement. Let's have a look what excitement is. So it has the visual information and it has my speech, my audio information. And maybe it can get now the level of excitement because there's not a lot of happening visually. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Look at this. Zero seconds, first second in, six seconds in, 12 seconds in. I suppose this is based here on my voice. Interesting. I can type something. Geometric objects appear. Show me each and every moment some geometric objects appear in the model. This is really a video analysis and I can define what I'm looking for in the video stream. This is interesting. Imagine this is free. It's a free demo by Google AI Studio. You upload your video, you analyze your video. Let's say you have a YouTube video from, I don't know, one hour long. And you say, just waiting here for a particular word or particular object to appear or a particular action to appear. Okay, geometric objects appear with a time code. Yeah, of course. So two objects appear, another object appears, another one. Yeah, the arrow appears, okay, yeah. Then we have here the two flags appear, yeah, this is two. And then we have here the diagram appears. Nice idea. So you can define what you're searching for in a video. This is impressive. Here are my two flags, yeah. Then first arrow, yeah. I mean, the idea that I have here total object segmentation, then an identification, and then it's brought together, then it builds here the storyline, it identifies here, and it gives you a summarization. Nice. When does an arrow shape appear? Generate. Let's go with this. Now, this is not funny. So let's, yeah, we are real time, you see? Seconds are ticking. Video is 30 seconds long, so if you have a longer video, you know exactly what you're waiting for. When does the arrow shape appear? I have arrows to the right and arrows da pointing downwards. So let's see this. Okay, so at 8 seconds, the first arrow is here. Yeah, at 9 seconds, my second arrow appears. Come on, yeah. 21 seconds, I have two new arrows pointing downward. And then, okay, yeah, there are two, <laughs> another two arrows pointing downward. Yeah, absolutely correct. So here the first arrow, the second arrow, yeah. Nice. It has an object identification. This 
is real nice. And you know what? This should go here for visual information for people too. Custom. Let's play with a custom prompt. What should we say? When the word transformer appears. You know why? Because I have the word transformer written down in the text of this YouTube short. And I have an image in the video. And in the image is the word transformer. So can it not just identify that there is an image in my video, but can it read the text of the image? So this is transformer, yeah? This is here my text, yeah, in the YouTube short. The word transformer appears in the image. Look at this. This is amazing. It can read the text in an image that is in a video. I not gonna believe this. This is nice. Look here, transformer encoder. It is an image that I insert in my video. And here we have a yeah, time code, of course, available. Look here, fast Fourier transformer. Transformer is here. And vision transformer at 35 seconds. If I say I search now for Fourier. So now, okay, waiting for the model. Okay. And this is an app. So nice. So nice. By Google. Waiting for the model. Now we look for the word Fourier transfer for the Fourier on Fourier transformation. The word Fourier transformation. Okay, let's go. Fourier transformation. Yeah, here we go. At 18. Where is it? 18. Where is it? Let's have a look. Should be in the paper. Yeah, in the image it identifies Fourier. And then at 30 seconds. Where is it? It is in the image. Do you see there? The last line, fast Fourier transformation. This is an impressive performance, Google. Okay, so here we go. We are here now in AI Studio with Starter App. We have our system instruction when a video and a query call the relevant function. Beautiful. So Add a video by clicking here on this button. Let's do this. Upload a file. And I'm uploading here my file. 5.6 megabytes. Beautiful. Done loading the video. And here we have our video. Okay, this is nice. And now explore this video via AV captions. Now let's do this. Let's generate this. It's just eight seconds long, the video. Each scene in the video generate captions that describe the scene along with any spoken text placed in quotation mark. This is, the video has no sound, no audio at all. So, yeah, look, here we have it. Sitting at a table, yeah. Nice. Eat, talk to each other, kind. Not at a table begins to cough some kind of roasted meat and serves it to the others. Nice idea. Time codes. We have the time codes available for all the actions. Okay. What is paragraph? Let's look at paragraph. Waiting for the mall. Generate a paragraph that summarizes this video. Keep it to three to five sentences. Okay. So we have here at the beginning a group of four people are gathered around the table. Okay. So paragraph summarization. We understand the content of the video. Beautiful. What are key moments? Generate key moments. Generate bullet points for the video. Place each bullet point into an object sent to the time code. We have the time code here with the bullet points. Beautiful. And here we have it. Four people. Let's go there. Oops. I just want to go there. Four people are around the table. Table set with food. Candle eating and talking. Somebody's carving a roasted meat. You see? Immediately here at four seconds in, it's nice. Funny. Table. Okay, what is a table generation? Waiting for a moment. Now, this is nice. They identify now the object. Have a look at this. At zero, four people at the table with food and drinks. We have the plates, a wine glass, one, two, three, four persons. One second later, we still have plates, wine glasses, and four people. Two, we only... This is now interesting. Look at this. We have a salad. Okay. Then one person, the woman in a red sweater, is now here the focus object. 
We have a glass of wine and whatever this is, I don't know this. Maybe this is his t-shirt. Four seconds in, a man carves roasted meat at the table. So we have a knife here. Okay, then we have some ham. Yeah, I suppose this is this one. A glass of wine and some plates. You see, now the focus is here in identifying those objects. And it's seven seconds. Oh, yeah, now we see the man. So we have the man, the, yeah, okay, got it. Interesting. So we have an object identification, an object segmentation, then an identification, and then we have your description what is happening. Choose five key shots from the video and call and say the object and set and list a list of objects visible in the scene with representative emojis. This is, you can... Can you type this? Because this is real nice. So you can input here your specific, yeah, nice. So you know exactly. I mean, the idea is nice. What is haiku? Now we get some poem about it. Generate a haiku for the video. Okay, this is not so. What is chart? Excitement. Yeah, let's go for excitement. Based on the following, for each scene, estimate the level of excitement on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, we, so we start here, just people just looking at each other. Then, a little bit later, 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 then four seconds in, ah, oh, we have a smile. Yeah, so we have excitement coming in. And then we see here the smile all the way down. Okay. Hey, there's a second smile, so excitement should go up a little bit, but the idea is nice. The number of people, now this is nice. Does it get it right? between the three and the four people. Wow, look at this. Four people at the very beginning. One, two, three, four, yeah. Then one, two, three. Interesting. And now it detects, oh, there's another hand coming in. So it just, ah, it's not what the person in the image, but in general, how many different people it can detect, because now it goes up to five. So this hand here, at exactly four seconds in, it detects this hand does belong to another person. Interesting. And then we have, yeah, the man coming into the image. Great. Now, type a custom prompt. Is it able to do this? Show me the number of candles on the table. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, on the table, not in the tree, not in the reflection. So, we have one, two, three, four, five candles. And in the last one, we have one, two, three, four, five candles. So, there you have it. This is a free demo you can use here. You upload your video. You just have to have a Gmail account. And you can explore here the starter apps by AI Studio, Google.com. Real nice. Add a video by clicking here on the bottom. And you can chat here with your video. You can have a video analysis. And if you think that this is just a demo, a free demo, imagine what is going to come in the next weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. It would be great to see you in my next video.